Swiftly, the board is closing in. We're a company of soldiers, they're 40 right to strong. All alone, stand alone. Our dinner comes burning, and no bill is at hand. As the blitzkrieg's pushing harder, the war is all around. All alone, hold your ground. The numbers will still count We're outgunned and few in numbers We're doomed to flag and fail We fought hard Held our guard But when captured by the excess And was to tell the truth We will tell it with a smile We will surprise them with a laugh We are hard. Oh! 
nation, nation in despair. One man seeking reasons everywhere. Growing hate and anger, the view resort is worth the size. Who was to be blamed and pay the price? Turning neighbors into foes Soldiers of the Third Reich searching homes And the former friends are watching As they are round up one by one Times of persecutions just begun Ever since it started On this town at 38 When liberty died And truth was denied Away on trains, sent on a one-way trip to hell Enter the gates, Auschwitz awaits Where freedom burns, the final solution
Describe big things are well big. The word colossal is pretty sizable. Humongous would win any game of Scrabble. Then there's the phrase the original bundle from Sky. Loads of channels, big screen drama, and a one terabyte Sky Q box. The smallest thing about it is the price. Sky TV for twenty two pounds a month. Search Sky bundles. Sky believe in better. Direct debit subject status twenty pound setup. Sky Q loaned at no cost. Minimum contract and terms apply.
Hello and Hello. welcome. Welcome to our fantastic uh, live stream on Twitch. We're going to be putting this uh, video up on YouTube and the website later on for your perusal. So um, it's great to have you here. We are going to be talking about alter reality and our part in it. Uh, it is a LARP, uh, which I dreamt up a few years ago and then recruited some people to help me run it. Uh, my name is John. Um, and I'm the head ref for Alter Reality. Oh, all right. I thought you were going to introduce all of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. John. No, 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 it's fine. I've got this. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll pick up your slack. Uh, hi, I am uh, Alt Ref Sean. I am unfortunately uh, one of John's nearest and dearest and uh, helped him during the early stages and uh, have not been able to escape since. Um, this is Alt Ref Chris. Yeah, I think it's lovely, but yeah, it's I know, right? a really nice feeling. It's almost like um, there's a weight off your shoulders. <laughs> um, hi, yeah, so I'm Chris. I joined uh, with Event One. I volunteered to crew, and from between there and the end of the event, kind of got dragged into the rough team. We needed you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, so I got involved and been working on it ever since. Um, at the moment, behind the scenes, we have the fantastic Laura, who is uh, monitoring the uh, the chat as well torturing as torturing people things. via the chat. <laughs> Apparently, torturing people via the, the, the chat. Uh, not here, unfortunately, not here today. Are Rob and Sam uh, other alt refs? I think um, Sam's watching from home. Sam, uh, Sam's watching from home. Hey, hey Sam. Sam. And Rob is currently in a muddy field, uh, laughing. laughing. I hope he's actually. I know. It's crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> So, uh, for those people who don't know what's going on, um, we run a LARP, a uh, live action role play game called Altered Reality. The premise is it's a modern post apocalyptic game. Much funny and short. <laughs> um, it's a sort of a cross between Walking Dead, uh, the comic and TV series, and Left, Left Dead, the computer game. The emphasis is on long term survival and trying to sort of uh, reclaim what you can of society. But I think uh, we've got a really good review so far, and we're now in year three. three. Um, first two events we've learned a lot from. Um, we've got really good feedback from them, and we're trying to get better and better and better, and we're doing our best to take on board uh, all the feedback, um, both from crew, from players that we hear, and um, 
we really, really value it because we want to run a game that we would want to play. And at the last event, I was quite jealous oh. I wasn't playing it. No, I like games with less running and more safety. <laughs> 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 like, I'm having through this. <laughs> uh, if we're talking about the last event, a lot more sleep. Yeah. <laughs> so, so much more sleep. So, we had our first event back in 2015, which was after the storm. The, um, which was a trade event uh, where lots of players came along. Uh, they got to know the world, uh, they met the 13th Rifles, our surviving military force, mm -hmm. and um, they uh, had some encounters along the way, found some new sort of types of infectors they hadn't come across before, and... Um, had a trial. Uh, had a trial, yes, yeah. that was uh, uh, an unscripted trial, it's quite cool. Yeah. Um, and various things happened, we'll recap that later on. Second event last year um, was... The Red Harvest, uh, where yeah. new factions were introduced, and there's a bit more dealing with uh, the interaction between groups. We've just finished um, three weeks ago our first adventure event, which was much smaller in size. Uh, we had a very small number of players, really, really roughing it in the wilds, as it were, uh, where they travelled back to the lab where it's believed it all started. Uh, what we only tried to do is avoid massive plot spoilers, but while trying to give you clues of what's actually going on. Um, and we've got a new, uh, our next event at the bottom, near the wine, is the free market. Uh, tickets are on sale now, look at the website. Um, look at it, look at it, look at the website. <laughs> um, and we've got a whole bunch of things we're going to talk about, things like that. However, the purpose of Refs Eating Pizza Part the Three is it's mostly pizza. mostly us to eat pizza. Oh, to hang out, have a drink. Hang out, drink, have a drink. But it's interactive. So, you, you can also it. order pizza and have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll barely, we'll, we'll barely charge you all to. Yeah, it's great. Um. But if you want to, ask questions via the feed, um, via the chat, or email us in. Um, or even possibly, if you want to Skype in, get in touch um, with Laura on chat and uh, we'll see what we can work out. Do you want to tell them what the email address is? The, the email, our email address is alteredrealitylarp at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook or if you do a Google search for Altered Reality LARP, the LARP is important, you'll find us quite easily and all the links are on the face on the uh, website as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, hopefully you'll have noticed that we've uh, got the audio sorted. This hopefully. Time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you can actually hear us, which is a big thing. And um, obviously, last year, for those watching, we had a few issues playing videos. So we're hopefully got that sorted this year. Um, it's been play tested. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Just> last year. <laughs> <laughs> but any feedback, any you know, if you need us to speak louder, shout, Sean to take his cap off, anything, just ask, and we will be all over that like some yeah. form of infection. <laughs> right. <laughs> what we want to do first is we want to do a um, basically the big one I want to get out of the way is a massive, massive shout out to our crew. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a brilliant, amazing crew who are w willing for some crazy, crazy reason to get up at three a.m., dress up as, uh, as zombies, and lurch into the player camp. And then be up at seven doing the same thing, and this is sort of you know possibly after no sleep. They are absolutely amazing. We they um, as Chris said earlier, they are the most our most valuable resource. They are amazing and brilliant, and we really couldn't do it without uh, the crew. So massive, massive job. Yeah, I mean, they just did an awesome job. Uh, but they always do an awesome job. We yeah. were we were talking earlier about how um, we uh, one second uh, we do we we plan it and. Uh, we put all the effort in to get it ready, but it only works because the crew are happy to work through our cock-ups. Well, I'm not always happy, but... Well, no, well, yeah, they do it. Yeah, they um, work through it. Yeah, yeah they, 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 like, it, basically, we, we do our best, stuff goes wrong, and it's resolved by crew killing themselves for us to, yeah, to make it happen, and putting up with the fact that we'll tell them... <laughs> Conflicting information. Yeah, in a short period of time, and, and they go and do it perfectly. Yeah, um... Like every, Better than we planned. Every event, the, the crew has done such a good job, and it's looked like, from the front, this awesome, well-oiled, well-organised machine. And that's absolutely what it is. 
because the crew yeah. are awesome. But it's because the crew. <laughs> and um, I, I, I know we say it every year. Uh, and every time when we do one of these videos, we always do a massive shout out to the crew. But it is one hundred and ten percent deserved because yeah, yeah, without them, we are yeah, nothing. Absolutely, and, um, and uh, a lot of the fun is hanging out with the people. Mm, absolutely, yeah, yeah. And the crew are awesome. The players are awesome. Yeah, uh, we're awesome. Maybe. <laughs> now we've got a. Like I said, we've got a new. We've got a new site. It's our first uh, game at the new site. It yeah. is absolutely brilliant. It's a huge site. It's probably about three times the size of the last one. Mm. Uh, I'd say at least, if not more. Yeah, yeah. we've got buildings. We've still got showers and uh, we've got showers and toilets and that. For Hornets three players. Hornets okay. free. Um, there is. Um, then we didn't even use the whole site by a long way. Huge. There's woods uh, indoors. There's outdoors. It's absolutely brilliant. Because, yeah, like different um, tracks you can go through through the woods. Different. Yeah. Areas you can find in the woods. There's a lot. There's a lot, and there's lots of little bits within the woods as well. We can use that. It's an absolutely brilliant site. And um, with the new site, we've got the ability to kind of grow the game. So um, we've done a massive shout out to the crew. And if there are people watching you want a crew, that'd be brilliant and amazing. But likewise, um, with the new site, it's a real kind of time to grow the game, get more player groups involved. Um, there is a sort of discount system available for new players uh, and for people who recruit. And just a case of um, come along. It is an ongoing storyline. So the fact that we're now in year three, basically, I think gets people used to the game. It's embedded it all in. It's working really, really well. Um, we've got we'll talk about that later on. But it is now now we're sort of in a system now where we want to grow it. We want to get more people involved, and we've got sites to do it, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. So I just want to quickly say we've got some. Uh, we've already got some uh, player questions. Come in, mm. which is brilliant. Um, we'll well, we'll put them on, on hold for now. We will answer all of your questions that we can and that we can. Um, so yeah, keep keep firing them at us, and uh, a bit later we'll take a bit of time. We'll go through them and answer them. Although from what I saw over uh, over your shoulder, because I'm a nosy git, mm. um, we've got a, a brand new a brand new shiny player to torment uh, next event. Yes, excellent. Well, we've got Phil Coleman. We've, we've actually got a few new uh, players to torment. Yeah, but yes. this is the Sorry. one I know about. Ah. And they're in chat. He's actually watching now. Is that yeah. I, I don't know who it is, but well, who is it? Can we find out who it is? <laughs> um, the general breakdown is what we want to do is uh, do a review of the last event. Yeah. And then we're going to do a, a review of um, really quick talk about where the in character world has been, where it's maybe going, maybe not. You know. Um, and we want to talk about where we want to take the game in the future um, as well. Is this is, as I say, it's ongoing, ongoing world where although there are, uh, where there's sort of things happening that will continue happening, you, no one should feel that um, uh, that they'll be you know, left behind. Yeah, not it, it, not. it's perfectly inclusive for new players, um, but obviously we like to have long-running themes and stuff going on. But it's definitely the kind of game you can jump into at any stage. Um, because you're all going to die anyway, so, I mean... And I, I just think John has done a good job of building it, so that whilst there is a, uh, there is a benefit for having been here for a long time, you get to build your character and, and stuff, it's not, it's not to the extent that, um, uh, like, a new character can't do it. Ah, that's just... What? Yeah. So we're being shown stuff from, from off-camera. Uh, but yeah, so it was... We're not saying that, you know, there's no difference from the people having been there, but mostly the benefit of the law and the, the understanding of the, the system and building those relationships so you can catch up with all of that. Um, we're, we're distracted because we think there's pizza. Yeah, it is. It there is, is called, pizza. It is called Ref's it Pizza. Is I think they bought both pizza orders. Sick. For, yeah. We've got both pizza orders. That's fantastic. Uh. Um, so now to the most important bit. Shall we... Whilst we're, whilst we're well, we're doing that, should we jump to a video? I think so. Okay, so um, John has just put this together. It's got some videos from, uh, sorry, some photos from the last event and uh, some player feedback. Okay, so fingers crossed, this works. Okay, let's give it a go.
just to watch Sean nearly throw his pizza on the floor. Yes. It's worth tuning in for, really. Mm. I agree. Yes, those were player reviews from our last event. Um, small and Beiju. Um, no, it fell. Beiju. Bijoua. Bijou. Bijoua. Bijoua. <laughs> oh, no. Apparently we can't talk. Right, you're a bit. I'm taking this away from the <clears throat> So, number one. Right, do we have any questions coming in mm -hmm. that we can go straight to? Hmm. And the idea with the uh, the adventure event was small group players really, really battling against the elements and the zombies. High risk, high reward. And um, I hope that they generally agree that it was quite high reward and also quite high risk. Although we didn't kill enough. How many players? We failed as a ref team there. I mean, yeah, they did. They did a brilliant job of trying to survive, which I think is unacceptable. But no. No, um, LaFan needs to learn to read. <laughs> like three hours looking at the wrong page. Anyway, we have some questions. So the first one comes in from Carson here. Uh, the free market will be my first event. Can I submit a downtime before I attend E3? We don't tend to do downtimes for um, new players. However, your background of what you're doing is kind of your downtime. So if you say that you want to, in your downtime, you're doing something or you have been doing something, that will be factored. That will, thank you. <laughs> that will be factored into the downtime you get. So sort of the answer is no but or yes but only. Um, what we do is take your downtime, we, we take your uh, character creation, your um, backstory, and we create your downtime using that. Um, the reason being that, um, well, for a start, the time taken to write a backstory is taken to create your um, character sheet. And secondly, we'd like people to get the hang of the game before they start uh, doing things in downtime. I'm going to get all up inside this dip. You could have answered the question. You can carry on talking until I've finished eating that mouthful. <laughs> I do, I do that quite a lot. So, um, yes, and then uh, every player gets a downtime at the end of the event. Mm. So a downtime is what is your character doing within this sort of six-month period. A few people are questioned, well, I can get loads done. If you're familiar with something like uh, Bear Grylls the Island, you'll notice that uh, exhaustion, hunger, uh, just living takes so long. Yes, they're on a tropical island, in, um, the island you know, on the island on the TV series, but they don't have zombies to contend with. So it's very easy in our world for weeks to pass without people able to do anything as they just sit huddled quietly. Um, the actual day-to-day -day life is far, far more dangerous than the trade events are, the August events are. Uh, those people who uh, went to, those that find, will be very aware of how dangerous day-to-day -day life can be when you're not in a heavily patrolled, uh, protected area. Um, um, so, yes, you get normally uh, an existing player gets one before the event, and everyone gets one after the event as well. Cool. Next question is coming in from um, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jacob. Um, I think it's a very good question. Yeah. It's why are the... Direct quote. Yeah. Why are the resistance giant dildos? <laughs> <laughs> um, why? Just, just, just for... Why they're not literally... Giant yeah, yeah. We're, we're not. Why don't you go and ask them in that exact phrasing? Um, the I don't want to. I, uh, I think it's safe to discuss the, the the resistance. Have there's different views about why the world is now like it is. Um, I don't. I don't think I'm sort of doing any sort of plot spoilers. Say so the resistance firmly believe that this was a weapon released by the government to repress uh, the working class, and that the government are happily li living in. Um, bunkers, or you know, depending on who you ask, a space station somewhere, um, and that they're sort of laughing and, and, and mocking people. Um, this is insane. This is clearly insane, but it comes from a very logical route. Um, the military were mm. <laughs> <laughs> the military um, when people started getting infected from um, people who weren't completely clued up and maybe were anti-police in the first place. Um, it's very easy for them to take the assumption that them and their loved ones had become targets of the military, the military was stalking around killing people. This wasn't exactly the case. In the early days, back in, um, in the end of 2014, there was um, a sort of orders to stop the infection at any cost. And some 
military commanders took that to mean gun people down in order to, you know, who could be infected rather than were infected. Um, this turned people against them, when the society collapsed and people became, um, uh, started infighting, these people rejected any sign of authority and hated it absolutely and still blame the, uh, what is left of authority. There isn't really anything left of authority short of 13 rifles. So they blame them for everything. It's easy to get a scapegoat. Um, so far, the release of the resistance have not been cited. Uh, they have not been silly enough to actually go out and engage in uh, combat. Um, but that is... Uh, well, there are a few, a few things to happen. Personal links between the 13th and the resistance as well. There is a few personal links, um, yes. So um, not all of the 13th was, were as pristine as the yeah, game I, thought so. I, I, I think, I think, I not think, all the resistance are in there for the same reason. Yeah, I think, I think we, we don't need to go down that storyline any further. But yeah, it, it's... Viewing, viewing the resistance just through their interactions only gives you one facet of what's going on there. I mean, that's all you've seen of them. <laughs> so you can't, it's not a particularly nice facet. Um, they are yes. trying to, they're, they're trying to survive in a world gone mad. Um, so, yeah. so, so we do have one more question, but I'm going to have to read this off the screen because it's a, a long one. It's a doozy. Okay. Uh, here we go. How tricky would it be to have crew occasionally wander in the distance from player camps? Not necessarily come towards the camps, just more a sort of constant reminder of uh, that there is zombies in there. And I think what they're, they're getting at is usually people are either... Um, Being attacked by or... Yeah, the crew are either out there for a specific reason to attack the players or to be there for a, an event. Um, when when we have more people, we will we will do that. I think it's a really, it's good, a really idea. good idea. I, think it's a I mean, really we've good certainly idea. got the room. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, I think I think it's a brilliant. I think it's a brilliant idea, and I think we need to uh, okay, look so into do that. We should stop for for one second. Yes, because we're going to have a, a slight interruption. Yeah, this is right. our tech crew. They've come to get some very important equipment for us. And uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Can they get past that? Oh, they nearly got past them on the camera. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, hey! Ruined it. Ruined it. Oh, these are our yeah. tech crew. We need to refocus again. Oh, awesome. no, we're all good. Awesome. We're all good. All right. Um, yeah, so basically different people cope with it in different ways. But yeah, to answer that question, yeah, I think it's an awesome idea. It would, we'll do it. yeah. Like, um, and I, I like that, the idea of there, there, there are zombies, there are lots of zombies, and they, you, you would see them wandering yeah. past. They're not necessarily there. Yeah, I think it's an awesome idea. We'll do it. Good idea. Thank you very much. Um, so you yeah, can help with that idea. They, they can have, uh, that was they that can was star. that was cat. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Not sure which cat. Thank you. I have two uh, cats, but they can't use keyboards. Uh, um, yes. So, any more questions? Obviously, ask ask Laura on the chat, and she'll pass them on to us. And um, all good. So, where where are we up to in the schedule? Oh, uh, the schedule. I want to talk about I want to talk about those left behind. Um, this it was a massive. Uh, endeavour uh, to be able to be done on, um, as always, the budget we've got. Um, mm -hmm. We had uh, we had explosions. We had um, the survivor camps. We had chemical really diseases. Good. We had technology work working te technology. We had uh, new types. A few new types of um, infected as well trapped in. Um, I think yeah. there's still a few yeah. that the players don't know about that were in there, which is quite cool. Yes. Uh, but I'm sure you'll come across them soon enough. No, we have some, some new props. We played with some new ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, some new ideas, yeah. Um, but we, we're constantly trying to... We, what we don't want to do is sort of change the core game, the core skills. We don't mm. want to be changing rules all the time. Um, but we do really want player feedback and we do sort of tweak things um, massively uh, in order to try to do our best. Um, because, you know, there's... There's, what, six people on the ref team. And... You know, the more help and more advice we get, um, we can always cover every area. Well, I mean, at the moment, we are looking into like, a, a few rule tweaks uh, under feedback from players and uh, also a few bits and pieces we've noticed. So, you yeah, know, we do take it to heart, we do take it seriously. Um, and it would be silly to assume that it came fully formed and perfect. Yeah. And we'll refine it as we go along. If we see something that maybe taking the game you know, or, or put something into the game that takes it away from how we want it to be, mm. 
You know, we'll we'll mm. we'll tweak little things without trying to change the core of the game. Yeah, um, you want to do nothing that will ruin someone's experience or invalidate things they've done. But that's yeah. straight off the table. Um, yeah. But like I say, what we're trying to do is listen to the majority to player feedback and acting accordingly. Mm. Um, what I do want to do is very quickly. Um, We've got, we've got a quick list of things, and it does say the fan pissing himself in lab. Nah, nah, but nah. Um, I want to talk about the new, the new side effect. It's much, much bigger. Um, we've got much more capability to do things in it. We've got uh, the ability to actually have, in our old side, they had to kind of wall off the wooded area, so we go on missions into the wooded area. New site, we've got large camp area, large wood area, large wood area, large wood area, and then we've got another wood area entirely which we can use for uh, in, for individual missions and as well as a building and other things like that as well which gives us a lot more capability to do things which i am just uh, so so excited over the ability to do all these things um uh, with that much space that we've got uh, it's going to make um people be going to be able to go into the woods and just explore when they want to and sort of come across things that are happening it's going to make it so we've got meanwhile while that's happening missions going off to sort of um, in character further places uh, to various aims and objectives. We're going to have a world, we've got, as always, a world that is happening. And if people miss it, they miss it. Um, you know, if there's something happens, they go past that point. So I think with the, the last site, because we were so limited for size, kind of limited what we could do there, because there was maybe two areas we could have encounters and events going on, and we needed them for stuff, so it kind of limited where players can go but with this because it's so big you know we we can say well what will be happening over there you know you'll be given clues and it'll be really important and if you don't go yeah. it's still gonna happen uh so if you're there, a bit you're more there, of that, if you're not. yeah so a bit more kind of uh understanding that it's a, a real world that's happening yeah. yeah and a bit less kind of working on um, we, we want we want to make it fun there's going to be, as always, all the clues, the various layers of plot, the various layers of uh, information mm. out yeah. there, and uh, the people who put it together will be rewarded richly with another day's life. Or maybe, you know, some oh. decent good supplies. <laughs> so we'll go, it goes. Also, with the larger site, and um, with the with the emphasis on uh, the free market, it's about, um, uh, it's going to be able to bring in a lot more of the kind of trade idea. Yeah. We've got alternative res resources and uh, rewards apart from just uh, um, goods, which means we can then really sort of bring out this group interaction uh, that we've been really sort of uh, that has been really really good in the first two events. But it just means we can now move on to the next step, uh, and it's going to be really really fun to be able to sort of play with that a little bit more. Next question. Um, yeah. So. Um, <laughs> This is, this is a big one. I think I'm going to feel this one. Yeah, uh, the question is, this. okay, Dominion, what the fuck? <clears throat> um, we get Robin on this one as well? Or? <laughs> so the, the Dominion are, um, they're, just, uh, they're another group of survivors who are um, just working like everyone else, trying to survive. They'll be very helpful. I oh, thought yeah. they've, uh, they've, they've helped the players a lot. Um, there's a couple of player groups that have had some some actually good downtime help mm -hmm. yeah. from the Dominion. Um, you know, they're happy to share resources, trade. Um, useful, useful people have on your Yeah, I mean, at, at event, your side, at yeah. event two. Um, I know that, well, the, that God, we, had some, the yeah, we had some Dominion in the field, which absolutely made the difference when that can't be overrun or not. So, um, I mean, that's that's how I feel about the Dominion. Do you think there's we've, we've, any we've more we've basically got. We basically, sorry, we've basically got the 13th Rifles, who are our... Uh, sort of traditional, you know, we can pull it back together again with a bit of discipline and we can we can win this one. Um, you know, whether you take that as idealistic or... Uh, um, Moronic. Uh, uh, it's your call. You've then got, but then, you know, I think most people realise that they're idealists uh, or possibly dogmatic. You've got the resistance. Oh, we've talked um, about them. Most we've people. talked about them. Um, we've got um, Ernest, uh, Ernest Security, who... Split us. What? <laughs> <laughs> the <Jewish> people front. <laughs> the people's front. No, and uh, we've got the Dominion. We've got a lot of other groups. People will have come across people like um, the Black Pit, um, like the Red Dragons, 
like the Crows. There's lots of other groups out there as well, but um, those groups have all they have, they've got all their own objectives, and they are still tied in with the same sort of downtime rules that affect all the player groups and everything like that. They're not sort of oh, let's just make them more powerful. Let's move there. And we do actually have lists of how many NPCs they've got, what they're doing, what their stores are, and in downtime you can trade with them, things like that. But the, the, the Dominion are one of those groups, um, and I think that's a really good question. I suppose, um, uh, like some stuff that uh, obviously players that have been to the games will know, we can talk about, and new players would, would learn this quite quickly or would be aware of. Oh, yeah. Uh, they have... Uh, oh, I was going to interrupt you quickly. Um, not everything we say, please do not take everything we say as canon. Um, yeah. This is a so, this is a social, in you know, a uh, podcast sort of thing. So please don't sort of take notes and quotes back on this. We're not going to announce rule changes, things like that, through this medium. And the same thing goes with uh, with other bits you may hear. <clears throat> but yeah, so the, the the Dominion um, have you noticed them? They've got scarred faces. Um, awesome armor. Red. Uh, they, yeah, I, I, resources. Yeah, they've got. They're, they're very well equipped. Very heavily armored. Um, clearly. So well, does he, Ernest, Ernest are heavily armoured in a bit. They're not. Then scavenged and tattered. And yeah, they are. They're they're, they're a powerful have force. A Me personally, or the, the Dominion, both. <laughs> I, I will. I'll put that. The Dominion do not have a minigun. Yeah, they absolutely no. do not no, have no. a <laughs> minigun. I think it's a very fair. <laughs> Statement. Certainly not several <laughs> loaded on but, the of trucks. Well, trucks, you say. Um, yeah, so one of many, many groups with different ideals. Some of the groups, of course, have the same ideals, but they're different people running them and so on. And we've got um, awesome sort of um, extent. Uh, so sort of the ref family has got some extensions where we let some other people who uh, don't uh, play sort of come up with ideas of what they should be doing with certain groups. Um, yeah. So... Uh, the thirteenth is a good example. Um, the resistance is another example, uh, where we sort of let them generally give us pointers in what direction yeah. they, they think it should be going, um, well, without I necessarily mean, knowing the big picture. Without without any spoilers, the Dominion might have completely uprooted and changed locations in several to times. Point due to um, information, so. Yeah. Ah, but this is really, but, but lovely this, people. Lovely people. Really helpful. Super um, friendly. Yeah. But you, this is a great opportunity for both um, downtime and in the field play. You can find out a lot of information within the field from other players and also from other sources, and also, um, especially for a sort of rumor mill hive of scum and villainy like the free market. Um, but you can also use downtime actions to go and explore areas, find out what's going on. And this is a really good opportunity for uh, solo characters who aren't affiliated with another group. Uh, if you've made an enemy of a group, then send someone who's not in your group to go and uh, go and chat to them in downtime, and they'll find out more information. Yeah. They'll find out more of their aims. Um, people with characters, unless the player wishes so, uh, actually expressly states it. Players cannot die in downtime. It's not. It's not something I've completely disagreed with. It's something I never do. Um, the fit, the game time is is is, is things. However, they I mean, can I mean, be negatively I mean, affected. I mean, do, 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 do you think? Do you think it's possible? It's fair to say that it is possible for someone to make such a series of stupid decisions mm. in downtime that the only option would be to kill them. It would be, but it would be quite obvious. Yeah, like you'd, you'd, they'd you'd, have to do it if yeah, someone decided but, to go into the middle of London, which is effectively. One of the zombie HQs and it's you know radi radioactive yeah. slush in there, and they kept demanding they were going to do it, uh, and they were saying, "I'm going to really do it brazen. I'm just going to walk into the middle of it and hug the nearest zombie I find." Yeah, yeah I better. mean, I count that as explicitly stating you want. We're to like, die. We can only help you so much. Yeah, but we yeah. don't want to punish people in downtime. Well, I want to go and raid this other person's like HQ, but I want to do it solo with nothing but a teaspoon. Well, wearing yeah. a tea towel. No, no, we, no seriously, the, 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 the PvP downtime rules do exist. Mm -hmm. uh, groups can attack each other. You've got, but groups have got work groups, which are groups of NPCs that they can use like military squads, um, which they can go and set to raid other people. And there's different sort of levels of that as well, which um, we've got a lovely system that kind of works out from the kind of thing. So if you say, look, we're just going to go and scout them and hit them because we can do, that's different from going, we're going to go in and wipe them all out. That gives you different sort of uh, 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 conditions on your combat. Um, 
player characters can massively help with that. And if a player wants to go and just attack another group, they can do, but the chances are they're just going to get, you know, the butt handed to them and sort of um, stripped of all their own personal resources and talk, you know, and then either they escape or the bug off things like that. Um, so yeah, instant death in downtime, not something alike, but as yeah, people well, say, if people do push yeah, well, yeah, obviously. What we're not saying is that you're immortal in downtime. Yeah. Like, but yeah, we'll we'll try and keep yeah. in mind. Yeah, we tell you what you tell us what your plans are. We tell you what happened, what the outcome of your plans yeah. are. You don't go. I'm going to go there and win. We go. Okay, you go there and you think you're going to win, but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> and people can have injuries, and people can suffer from uh, uh, debilitating uh, illnesses and things like that in downtime. Yes, so I did just throw a mirror like, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, so, I want. I want. I thought, so I'm not trying to style it out. I thought people would have seen. I did. Is it? Yeah. yeah, they definitely did. Um, brief sidebar, by the way. Uh, when people said, uh, raised the question, Dominion, what the fuck? I thought it was written Domino's, what the fuck? I thought they were questioning our pizza choice. And I was furious. Can we, can we do a quick, uh, quick question? So, this is my speciality. This is um, a jalapeno and pepperoni pizza. John, why are we talking about your pizza? Awesome. Because someone talked about Domino's. No, they didn't. No, Sean just did. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I it was worthwhile. Padres. Uh, oh God, that pizza is worthwhile. Uh, Padres, uh, Jacob has been back in touch to mention a couple of things um, that happened at the, the last event, which I do right. think we, we talk, we'll do. I think we we'll do one yeah. and then the other. Yeah. Um, so the first one is dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, My thumb still hurts. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, we had we had um, IC explosives, and by that I don't mean a red tube. We threw and yelled, "Bang!" I mean. Actual, actual stick. Pyrotechnic. Bang. Um, it went yeah, bang. It, was... it went bang. We had injuries. We um, didn't. We did, well, we did. We, we, sorry. Yeah. We had a we had a field test before the game started, uh, where we just where I just basically primed all the refs on what to do and what not to do, mm. and the moral of the story was uh, don't, don't give things to me. <laughs> don't light it with the lighter. Yeah. Um, don't light it like this with the lighter. Right. So. <laughs> Okay, that's Which we definitely not how it happened. We're glad we did first, because that made that when the players did it. Yeah, we don't mind hurting Yeah, but it's fine. I feel so bad. I really do. Good. Uh, but yes, the pyrotechnics were brilliant, and we made sure we've got a bigger stash of um, bandages, of of, <laughs> of flashbangs, of smoke bombs, of things like that, which um, are going to be sort of in our in our uh, basic ref kit. So the refs are going to be able to fizz up that really quickly if anyone is in an in fight situation, because. This, these things, we, we want to we want to encourage players to do what they think they can do, uh, genuinely. Uh, now, they might take, take a bit of kind of ref guidance to go, oh, that's a bit too much, that's not going to work, or whatever, just for the kind of common sense and the sort of um, trying to make it a fairer game. But yeah, we want to encourage people to do things. So as the clip showed, we had a player group uh, um, come up with a, a chemical weapon, created a chemical weapon that... Um, they used to severely weaken a certain type of zombie, I weaken it enough that the dinosaur might was okay was able to then wipe out uh, kill. And even after the dynamite, I think some of the players will attest it was quite a nasty fight. Mm. So yeah, because yeah. <laughs> uh, dynamite blew it into bits, and the bits really <laughs> weren't happy. <laughs> they really were not happy at all. Uh. Um, but well, yeah, I think I think like, like we balance that in the fact that so we we introduced the large lord at the, the, the event two, yeah. um, and players came up with some good ideas that really didn't hurt it at all. Yeah, <laughs> um, like setting it on fire. And that's yeah. what that's what something I like, mean. We, we learn all the time from stuff, and what I learned was that yes, we need to make sure refs have got flashbangs and smoke grenades with them pretty much all the time, so that if people decide to set fire to petrol canisters, and um, we can simulate an explosion yeah. at short notice, and it's it's a learning experience and something I now I now want to make sure we do. Can't promise that we'll always be there. Everything people want. But, uh, but we can try. Also, if you are setting fire to fuel canisters, you are motherfucking crazy. Stop <laughs> wasting your damn fuel. You can run a generator for a week off of the generator. Uh, for a downtime, in fact. Yeah. yeah. Well, not, not solidly for six months, but for when a you A fuel need resource. It. Yeah. But, um, uh, but yeah, so we, so we had we had this harvest lord. Um, but I think it's, it's very important that whilst, yes, we can have like a big bad that is like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Um, th they can only be there for so long, otherwise... As that completely unkillable, yeah. So we've we've, we've got to we've, we've got like some vulnerability, 
um, small vulnerability uh, and a very specific way of dealing with it. So there might be other ways. We don't, you know, there's not not found I out did, yet. But I did want to talk about dynamite things, but I'll leave till later on because there was another question, wasn't there? There was, there was, well, there's, we've got loads of questions, but the second half of that. Oh, right. Was, oh, sorry, yeah. Was uh, going to the chemical weapons. So oh, I, sorry. I, I think, have, yeah. have we covered that? that chemical that? weapons. Uh, yeah, the, the um, people came up with an awesome way of using a, uh, of creating a chemical weapon that sprayed basically poison gas all over the place. And you know what the worst part was? The players actually then came up with a way of protecting themselves from the chemical weapon. And I was like, no, we've got all these things. Um, me being me, yeah, we did have these the, the, these uh, stickers, uh, which basically we, we do uh, um, like catastrophic injuries through stickers and drug dependency through stickers and things like that. So I think it's a really good system. But the um, uh, I hope, I hope so. Why do we hand on heart? Yeah. Um, and we had actually had these stickers in case the players came up with this uh, way of um, uh, uh, spreading this kind of poison and. They um uh, and unfortunately they all then sort of gas masked up and found a way of being immune to their own chemical weapon, which would have been hysterical if they hadn't actually thought of that. But unfortunately they did. Damn you! Uh, Damn you all! We'll we'll oh. Before we uh, before we field uh, another question. Yeah. Do you want to? Shall we? Shall we tell them about a little competition already? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that'd be a good time. Definitely. So um yeah, we decided to mix it up a little bit and. By that I mean follow the same thing that all Twitch channels do. Um, <laughs> so follow other people, gonna, we're not used to it. We're going to run uh, a little bit of a competition. If we get, what, 20, 25, shall we say 25? 25. 25, yeah. Uh, if we get 25 viewers for our live stream. Uh, live viewers. Point. Thank you, John. No zombies. Um, <laughs> and no cats. <laughs> no cats who can't use keyboards. Excellent. Um, yeah, if we get uh, 25 live views at any given point, we will uh, then hold a raffle, the winner of which will get one of these, very stylish, very nice, slightly modified and personalised, <laughs> alt read uh, shirts. Um, yeah. So, with funky names and everything. Um, yeah, maybe, well, we're, 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 we're uh, assuming that they come to the game. Oh yeah, you have to collect it at the event. Mm. Don't, be, don't be a punk. Like, we'll have a we'll, we'll we'll throw a couple of different design ideas out there. Yeah. The T-shirts, you'll have some control over what you get. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start pushing some merchandise out. So it seems a good idea. Let's give some away. Yeah. yeah. Should we talk about um, should we talk about crowns and merchandise and other things? We'll come to that later. We've okay. got some oh, more good okay. questions coming in. Awesome. We love questions. Please ask questions. Loads. We um, use these. So we want to know is the group camps. The new event, we've had a couple of people asking this. Mm. Yeah. Are they going to be like they were before, kind of all together, or are they going to be more scattered about? Uh, the current. What we want to do is spread them out a little bit further than they are now, but not massively, massively far from each other. Um, we, we've got a big enough sight to you know put them out of sight of each other, but we don't really want to do that. We want to make it so. The, the idea of what is that we want them, we want to. Shall, shall I be frank and honest, or shall I be hinty and riffy? The, uh, tell me to stop, stop talking. The, um, stop talking. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is... <laughs> <laughs> I know, you know, let's, let's give the short answer. Um, the camps are going to be more spread out, so you'll, you'll be able to, in your little group, be a little bit more isolated. Yeah. But whilst being part of something bigger. So we're not going to have to squish you all together like we had to in the last cycle. We're like to spread out yeah. so there is there is distance between the camps. You're going to be on top of each other. I think I like the way I described it earlier when we were discussing it, which is just enough distance for an ambush or a mugging. Yeah, yeah. like if you went the wrong way, we're a bit dumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. that sums it up really well. Better than I was going to. <laughs> so I told you to stop talking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do that more often. <laughs> we try, but you never listen. Anyway, the idea. Is <laughs> so. Um, Try and answer the questions. Mm. Uh, we've had one which I think um, this is a really good question. I think it was from one of the. Um, hang on. Um, uh, I think there's a, um, it's a. It's a question that's kind of been left since the beginning of the game, and there's been some confusion about it. And I think it's it's on Nick Blair's ass again, which is um, uh, butter items. Why, why do I want them? What are they right. useful for? And I think that, that that's. Okay. I think one area we've. Could have improved, yeah. Like making that more clear, making that more okay. obvious about what that was about. We're going to spell it out really exactly. Um, the idea is we wanted a low-end currency unit. Um, 
So we have the idea of barter items. Barter items represent something useful. So it could be like a packet of cigarettes, or well, it's half a packet of cigarettes, or it could be a pack of Tic Tacs, or an inhaler. An asthma inhaler, something that um, is important but not quite a tap. Asthma inhaler is not, not a great old example. Yeah. That is my original example. It's not a great one because obviously for some people it's life saving, but for the majority of people it's not. Anyway, uh, the point is though, it's something that could be valued to someone. So it could be, uh, like I say, a whole bunch of things. Even things like some people might find, it, find a big wad of money really useful, just in case everything gets better. Kindling. Or just kindling. So it's useful items that are used to carry. The main purpose of barter items is for groups. Groups can use barter items in downtime to recruit new members, new non-player character members into their groups. The bigger the group, uh, the more work groups they get, the more defences they get, uh, the more of a sort of um, um, uh, civilization that they, they can make. That comes with a whole bunch of its own rewards. So they are massively, massively useful to groups. When you first start uh, a group, if you start uh, in a group in the game, then you um, require about three barter items, two or three barter items, to recruit a new NPC. And the idea is you send someone out, they use a downtime action to go out, where they can recruit people and go, like, you know, here's a drink, here's some cigarettes, let's be friends, right? Let's do a bit more training. Do you want to come and join our group? Let's, you know, and it's just a bit of a case of splashing the cash around, getting them on board, getting them to join you. Isn't life so great at our camp? Isn't it awesome? Yeah. We have all this stuff. Yeah. You then join them and then they become part of your camp, they realise it's safe with you, and then um, they, we've got a morale yeah, system. They're, they're, they're both types of running water, cold and yeah. murky. <laughs> <laughs> cold and not running. <laughs> and that's the idea behind barter items, so they're incredibly useful for groups. The kind of logic behind this a bit was that um, over time we want to build this kind of small kind of festish system, and the idea is what do the groups do in order to get the barter items from solos, because solos tend to get more barter items than uh, group players do, mm. than, group, than group members do rather. Um, so they've got all this money, uh, the groups want it, so what's going to happen? Are they going to recruit, are they going to... Um, uh, so recruit this person as a guard, or as a guide, or as a medic, or bribe them to help them join them. You know, what's in it for Solo to sort of not join the group, but to give the group part some money? That. Yeah, part without money. That's the idea, that's the kind of mechanic behind the process, is okay. this sort of, um, you know, what do you do with slow and currency? Now, um, the free market, market being the key word, free being an interesting word. You want to bring some money because we've got things like a um, in character. We want to have things like in, well, we're planning for an in character pub, uh, which does um, uh, some in character food during the day, which you can buy using barter items, and that's real food, not some going oh I'm thirty, but actually yeah. some stew and some tea and some coffee that you can buy with barter items. And then when the sun starts sinking, they start doing um, various post apocalyptic beverages, which you can buy with barter items. We are, you know, sixteen, seventeen year olds. Come with the responsible adults, and that, you know, eighteen-year-olds. You know, it is alcohol that we're we're selling for incorrect money, um, which should be. So just, so just to, to clarify that. Adults. So just to, just to clarify that, we are absolutely not selling any alcohol. What we're doing is giving you some alcohol that's there in the game, and you're handing over a prop. The, the, there's very clear laws about selling absolutely. alcohol. We are absolutely <laughs> not breaking them at all. No, well, we would be anyway because we've got a um a license but anyway. But so okay. it's like that. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Anyway, but we're not selling, selling it. Yeah. <laughs> we're not selling it. We're we're we're, we're trading it. Yeah. Uh, um, and again, um, and that's one of the things. But that's one of the many many things that's going to be on sale. One of the many many things at the free market that's on sale. Um, well, there is something that's free. Um, if you want it for free, then it's free for anyone. <laughs> Yes, which as oh, sure I, said. I was just trying to make a joke. I didn't no, no, I kind of yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> I, I just stole John's punchline. I'm so sorry. Uh, as always, death is free. Um, but that's not the aim of free market. The aim of free market is that anyone to come and buy and sell and do what they will. It does not have the same protections and moral code that the Thirteenth Camp has. Not by a long way. So we have all sorts of things being bought and sold. So you um, talking about John. about the the free market, and you mentioned. Uh, about the difference between the player groups, uh, yes. about, about groups and solos. So one of the, the questions that's come in is, so what's what's going to be the sort of camping arrangement for the independents? How are they going to be encouraged to camp come the uh, the event safely? Um, 
We we <laughs> really we have, we have, we have, we, to be honest, we haven't had a full look at exactly. We, we've got a general idea in our minds how we want people to camp. Uh, what we've done in the past is say, right, here's a map. Here's where we want people to camp. What I'm what I'm gonna uh, what we want to do this time is say, here is a map of where you can camp. Here is this sort of area for this sort of group. Here is this sort of area for this sort of group because that's where the thirteenth are, and this is where the Dominion might be based, and this is where another group sort of thing might be based. Camp by the Dominion. So this might this is kind of very like, friendly. This is the sort of um, the, the sort of up class part of the settlement, and this is the sort of lower class area of the settlement. Um, and then we sort of just going to ask you know ask group leaders where they want to camp. And we think there's going to be enough space that there's no one's going to really fall out, out over it. And then there's going to be slots that you know that solos are welcome to go and camp within. Um, it is, like I say, a little bit different. In the past games, the thirteenth have patrolled. Um, I'm there's going to be some um, of, of uh, a, a, a a group there that will quite happily patrol and keep the whole camp safe. Um, if um, if the whole camp can possibly. Yeah, I mean, no, let's, let's pay just... for them to do that, but it's not the same sort of experience. It's, I mean, it's being being safe, but it's different. It, there's uh, this thing exists as, as the free market. It obviously exists in a, in its own relative level of safety for it to be able to carry on being. You know, if it was completely unsafe. It was, yeah. it was in the middle of London. It'd be wiped out. So it's it, it's still probably it's slightly safer than just wandering around in the wilds on your own. It's not going to be that much more unsafe than where you're based because they're not very safe either. Um, so yeah, so it, 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 it's just different. Yeah. And the, um, like I said, there's a lot of things to sell, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. Um, and we really want to sort of sum up the whole sort of post-apocalyptic different clash of cultures vibe going yeah. on. And it's going to be, I think a bit more, I mean, there's going to be, yes, there's going to be the horde is going to be the raids. It's going to be the missions. It's going to be the the the, the, the just you know various infected intruding upon your, your day to day life. But it's going to be a lot more about interaction um, for those people who want that. Again, don't force people on things on people unless it's a zombie. Next question, or shall I? Um, so uh, just quickly jumping back to t-shirts. We've already had someone. Oh. Um, get in to say that they'd happily pay for, for t-shirts, which is good because yeah. we would happily sell people t-shirts, which is something we're looking to do. Um, the yeah, um... shirts with John's face on them are available now um, in a variety of expressions. This is expression one, <laughs> expression two. <Let's> stop it! <laughs> 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 really self-conscious. No, they're not. He's joking. They're not. I don't think they're. Um, oh god. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so there's one thing we're going. Um, obviously, every every penny goes back into making it a, uh, a better game, but I don't think we're looking at... We're not profiteering off T-shirts. No, 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 no. We're just no. selling them we, because people might like them. We have... We, to be fair, um, uh, I'll give them a shout-out. Insane Primate T-shirts. Um, I'm going to work with them. Um, they don't know this yet. Uh, we'll, we'll get Dutch National nicely. I know they're friends of ours uh, to produce a range of T-shirts for, for us. And, and yeah, we're just going to be getting them through them and in out to you. Um, it's more, it's more of like uh, them being out there and people being able to have them than a, a way of generating money. Yeah. Because um, this is that it does bring us on to the slightly sort of um, uh, 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 distasteful English conversation. We're going to be um, ending ticket sales for event three at the start of August, the sixth of uh, the sixth yeah. of August. Um, a LARP game. We're not. Uh, we're not sort of. Um, this isn't our job. This is this is something we do as a hobby, and it's something that we invest a lot of time and money in. Um, and it is something where, if we get your, um, if we get your, if we get ticket sales, uh, uh, yeah. the money we get right. can be spent uh, can be spent entirely on the game. It doesn't spend anything else apart from on the game. And um, the earlier we know people are coming. That means the more personal part we can write. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty pounds for tickets. Sixty pounds for tickets at the moment. Uh, we do do an early bird at fifty, but that's long since gone. Um, and there's also a discount if you recruit someone, and your existing player recruits someone, you get ten pounds off the next ticket you buy. Uh, all the person being recruited has to do is send us 
uh, uh, send us your. There's uh, actually a, a spot on the character creation form. So if you're a new player who's been recruited by somebody else, you mentioned who's recruited you, and they will get ten pen, uh, ten pound off their ticket. And uh, does that does that stack? That does stack. That does stack. Bring six people. Uh, I think it stacks up to about fifty quid. Um, Bring five people. <laughs> Bring the so, next one next year. Keep getting. Them. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it keep, yeah, carries on and everything else. So yeah, and. You know, that's just recruitment. Uh, but like I say, the earlier we know that uh, people are coming, the more personal plot we can write for you. And we love personal plot uh, because uh, we get your down, we get your downtimes, we get your uh, character creation, and we use it to create personal plot, ongoing personal plot for people. There's still personal plot from event one that's not been um, not being picked up on, which we're trying to recycle. But obviously, we can't just bring it again. So we, we, we're recycling that. We not sorry. You said one word. We're continuing that personal yeah. plot. Uh, we're not just using the same thing over and over again. My favourite personal plot has to be Saint John. My Saint, Saint George. George. Saint, Saint George. George that's it. That is my yeah, personal. Yeah, yes, awesome. that is um, personal plot. Yes. Sorry, I probably shouldn't have brought it up. It's a really good personal plot. <laughs> it's amazing it's personal, plot. personal plot. <laughs> Follow that personal plot. It's fucking amazing. Awesome. Yeah. Do that. Um, I'm. I'm wondering if. If. Uh, if now we. Uh, I was, thinking, another video. I was thinking four minutes and do one more question, one do, more it, question. do it on the, on the hour. Um, yeah, so the idea is the earlier you can get a personal plot to us, the more we can use it. If you're uh, leaving the last minute to get a ticket, we've got less chance of doing your personal plot, less chance of tying it in and, and so on. And, this and is an ongoing process. And it's amazing to have your personal plot because it means we can do stuff for you. Mm. Yeah, that's what like, we, we really like it. I mean, some of my favourite moments, uh, crewing and playing, have been when doing a little bit for people. Um, and yeah. you know, we, we've all played games ourselves where you've been the guy in the background um, and other people get plot and we don't want that for our players, we want something for you. If, I mean if, if you ignore it all game then that's, that's on your, your thing. But The first two events, and probably I realise that people might not, um, might re first two events, I bet one event to every single person who handed in downtime had personal plot. Whether they got to it, was it, it didn't matter and that's not... Therefore, they didn't get to it necessarily because it all got yeah, mixed up reasons, and connected but together. Uh, but it's still ongoing. Um, there are, um, and a lot of that's a lot of that's going to start boiling over a little bit in this next uh, next event. Um, but I, <clears throat> so we've got a couple of questions that we can kind of wrap up together because they're both to do with the new site. Yeah. Uh, before we we head on to the video, um, so I'll ask them both, and then the first one is: Is there going to be uh, a pile of wood? To build the fences, and uh, the other one is policy on fires, bringing gas stove or build an actual fire. So oh, kind of yeah, um, right. With the new site, we've got these large um, half That's barrels, uh, altar fire type things, stands, half barrels, big barbecue grids, which players are welcome to use on the condition. Two conditions: one, they um, empty them in the ash pit at the end, and two, they return them. Uh, and they are brilliant. Three, they don't fight themselves or anyone else or any of our stuff. You know. Spot, spot. Um, yeah. So there's these big, big uh, fires that people can use and people borrow those. Uh, we've got a trolley that people wheel around doing setup. And they're more than welcome to use those. You can grill, cook things on them because you've got the big mesh over. They're pretty big. Um, and they are perfect for the setting. And they really are. As far as people want to bring gas barbecues into that, I've got absolutely no problem with it. Um, I don't want to start walking around. Um, well, okay. All the refs um, are basically kind of like, um, I hate this phrase, health and safety briefed. Which means if they see something that could be uh, could be sort of jeopardising things, they will have a very quiet, very polite word. But that will be more a case of, most in the most likely situation, or oh, can you just move that? Or oh, do you know that's left on? Can you just move that out of the way? Just tiny, tiny little things like that. In the worst case, in almost the worst yeah, case, don't, sorry. don't do anything stupid, yeah. and we won't stop you. Yeah, yeah. Um, the I mean, the only instance I can think of people saying no for sort of things like gas, uh, gas grills and things like that is if it's a clearly leaking bottle that's been sellotaped, you know, something that's clearly quasi illegal, unsound. yeah. Um, but apart, you know, so yes, all that kind of thing, no problem at all. We would ask any fires and things like that are put in, well, a couple of things. One, we would like, um, there to be access. To any camps, and that is for um, OC health and safety reasons, but also because it's going to make it more fun. Uh, if you sort of completely wall around your camp and with, with sort of uh, barricades and 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 make it completely nothing accessible, you're probably going to have quite a boring game. Well, not <laughs> <every> <laughs> <time>. <laughs> 
Not only that, but if you do that, we're going to break your shit. So, <laughs> yeah. We got we got so, a minor grumble at one of our events because uh, somebody put up a barricade and like a fairly solid barricade, but all the way all the way around their camp. And so we threw zombies into it till it broke. Um, <laughs> and then they went, "You broke my wall." Well, yes, we did. Yeah. We, we, we need this kind of suspension disbelief a little bit in that you know if you make a you know a seven foot corrugated iron fence that we can't get through, we're going to be really pissed off because. If you throw some big nasty blow to that, they're going to get through. Mm. So there's a little bit of give and take there. Yeah. Um, but we would like camp layouts to be sensible. So in the worst case scenario, if you are overrun, we don't physically have people out of the garage on fire. Yeah. So it's common. It's just that. common sense. Like, yeah, I mean, yes, I mean, yes. yes. Fires. Yes. Gas barbecues. Yes. Camps. Yes. Can they make a lot of things to make a big wooden fences around their thing? There was, I mean, there was there was the wood pile Maybe, there last yeah, time. There's, there's I, I we're not, make, we're not making so. not making guarantees. Yeah. We can't make guarantees. We cannot, unfortunately, we can't take enough lumber to allow every camp to make large wooden walls around them. But you know, we, we apologise. It'd be great if you could do, but don't forget, you're also there as a temporary camp. Yeah. Um, in what is otherwise a kind of peace area. I mean, a lot of the thing, uh, well, in a lot of circumstances, I think um, our, our key rules are uh, be safe. And tidy up after yourself. Um, it's well, yeah. I mean, technically, I should lean on the former and say that's the most important thing. But I don't want to clean up your shit, so please be tidy. Tidy's good. You wanna... Yeah. Oh, you know. You know what? You know what? Let's go to the video. Yeah. You come back to some stuff later. Uh, so, John, do you want to? Um... Mm. Go so, a little. A little. Right. Um, the world background is. Um... Can, can we sum it really quickly? Plague one, met, uh, technology died. Plague two, people died. However, um, I, came back. I wanted to. This is spread over such a wide area across the website and the rule book that what I wanted to do was just sum up really quickly what our world is about, what happened in the past, what has happened that people will know about across the last, you know, um, three years of games and. Um, and what's happened in the game world since before then. So this is awesome. This is going to go up on the website as well. Please enjoy. I hurt myself today To see if I still feel I
You are someone else I am still right here What have I become? Our audio's back in. <laughs> there we go. I realised though I clicked our audio's back in and then said our audio's back in rather than what I should have said is the audio's about to come back in. I blame the tech and crew. And then clicked I, it. I, yeah, I the tech crew. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new guy, Tom. I mean, what are you playing at, Tom? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was a brief, uh, brief summary of our world. Uh, what's happened, um, not why it's happened. Um, that is still um, a lot of rumour, a lot of um, a lot of belief, a lot of miscommunication, and a lot of chaos going on. But that's what's happened. The idea being that there's um, there is no society left. There is no um, uh, there is no government. There is no communication. There is no control. Um, there are literally, you know, maybe well, the current population of the UK is because measured in the sort of like you know possibly tens of thousands, um, everyone is dead, Dave. Um, there's so few survivors. Uh, when we say there's a survivor group in a certain region, that doesn't mean they're one of many survivor groups in the region. That means that's that survivor group. We don't mean, oh, and plus those other people hanging out nearby. We mean that's the survivor group that they and, are and, aware of. And how long are you, how big are you talking about for a region? Um, well, in downtime, you've got maps. Regions kind of depend on a level of size, and the, the, the size of the region... Depends on the kind of resources that can be found in it. But for example, um, imagine each sort of county and split that into sort of four or five equally sort of sized areas. So, for example, all of it, if you know the area, all of Portsmouth is one region, Portsmouth and the outlying towns is one region, uh, the entirety of the New Forest is one region. Uh, but then, having said that, Bristol on its own is one region because it's quite big. Um, North Somerset is a region, um, Oxford is a region. Um, the Mendips is a region, and so on, and each of those. So each of those might be what a couple of hundred square miles, um, and each region's got a um, ongoing uh, sort of danger level for the number of uh, uh, zombies and other infected in that area, and um, for those changes, downtimes change as players do various things. Um, or in some cases, not do no, various oh things. Oh God, yeah, not do various things will change the, 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 the danger map more than anything else. But in downtime, you receive a, uh, a a summary of the region you're in and all the surrounding regions as well. Uh, again, solo players get slightly more information than group players. Um, I could sort of try to justify that I see quite happily, but I'm not going to. It just, is. it just is. <laughs> because reasons, They're more, yeah, that's why. They, they're more interested in what's going around them because they're on their own. There we go. <clears throat> sort it. Cool. Are we going to get some more questions or are we going to talk a bit more about the site and the free market? I think uh, let's talk a bit more about the, the site and the free market. Um, so um, we've got, uh, should we do OC or IC about the free market? Let's do some OC about the free market. Let's talk about. Okay. So the free market is a trade gathering that none of the players have yet attended. Um, it is, uh, publicised is the wrong word because of course uh, there's not enough population to do that sort of thing but the odd person you may pass in your travels would have said, would have spoken about it, uh, the crows know about it, um, it was advertised at the last uh, event. Uh, so I could just to, to stop you, the crows being uh, kind of like a trader group that... A, new, a neutral trader group. All over the yeah. place, most players would have interacted, most groups would have interacted with them. 
Um, so they're kind of like a, an informal um, sort of communication network as well. And their, their role was originally very, very much of things like uh, of open trade. Mm. Now that trade is becoming more uh, prevalent, they are uh, brokers of information and yeah. other useful things um, at, a, at a price, as always. Um, uh, and they're sort of our, they're sort of our MC sort of, uh, um, MPC communication sort of group. But they, um, uh, but yes, the free market is a sort of opportunity with cash written all over it. Uh, if you're able to take advantage, maybe a little bit. Uh, whether you might be very strong, you may have a skill to share, you may have information to share, you may be desperate and, and, and trying to find information uh, or, or supplies or resources, but um, the free market, everything is available and everything comes at a price. I think it's also fair to say without giving anything really away that there'll be um, experiences and things there for characters to do yes. that you've not had the, the chance to do yeah. before, some yeah. of which will uh, gain you resource risk, some of which... Um, we'll just be cool new stuff to do. Yeah. So we, we are we are looking at a casino working once the sun goes down. Uh, a casino working in tandem with a pub and some other bits and bobs for people to to to, um, to gamble their barter items or their other resource items away in order yeah. to make greater profits. But there's also other gambles you can take. Uh, there's there's sort of um, <laughs> there's missions. There's um, be quiet. <laughs> I think I know what's going to be your mind right now. And there's a whole bunch of other things going on that's going to really, um, really add a lot of life and character to the game, and it's going to be really, really good. Um, there is going to be a uh, in character sort of, sort of police force. Now, this isn't so much a police force as a uh, group of people protecting those that run the free market. Mm. Um, oh, uh, I'm going to say yes. Um, the other thing is that if um, if people um, uh, we are now looking, we've got the numbers to look into getting um, the sort of quasi out of character traders. And if you are interested in that, you drop us an email, please. Yeah. Use your email address, alteratilark at gmail.com. So if you are interested in uh, turning up to do out of character trading, let us know. It has to be something that's appropriate to uh, our game universe. Uh, you can never post apocalyptic. Uh, but yeah, let us know. I, I, I missed a bit of that. Don't worry. Okay. Um, we've had another question come in, yeah. um, right? Which is um, from Levan, uh, which was he did he did give us the option to answer this privately, yeah, as it were. Uh, but I thought we'll we'll go with this. Um, in the, he said there was a, a situation where he uh, was considering uh, murdering. Ah. I, 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 I goofed. Cut, cut so, right it's fine. So, I don't think so uh, he, he wanted to know if he was to come along, could um, he have cool stuff happen? Because that was genuinely the question. Backstory, plot, right it. in, yeah. it's all good. Yeah, and yeah, yeah sorry. I, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to not talk about that now. And my bad. Yeah. So, um, should we. The one thing we would ask um, players to do is, um, as far as the, sort of one of the unspoken contracts is, can you? Can, uh, we would like all groups to make sure that they do sort of completely tied into site. We, we do use scout sites, uh, which we then set dress accordingly. They're brilliant and amazing. The new one is brilliant. Um, however, it, it's used by lots of different LARPs, and to be, keep it being kept by a LARP, we do need to make sure that it's left. Christine, mm. um, we do need to make sure that it's tidy, and therefore we do ask that when people do leave the site, you know, we need all rubbish tidied up. We're going to be supplying rubbish bins and things like that. The, the, sorry, rubbish bags and things like that. The in-character reason is you do not want to attract rats into your camp. Rats will make uh, will spread disease. They will eat your food. They will destroy your defences. They will eat your batteries and die. Uh, they will not be pleasant. They might even spread, you know, spread vine fluid and things like that. So, uh, but also, out of character. James Hubbard style rats would happen. It's, it, it's, that's not a rat. Hey. But the idea is, please, 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 tidy, uh, when you, when you leave camps, tidy camps. Um, we have homes to go to as well, and um, we need to be the last people off site. Uh, so, sorry, minor grope, but please make sure you do. I catch you leaving rubbish on site, I'm picking it up, and then I'm driving to wherever you live, and then I'm leaving it on your doorstep. I know I don't drive, but I'm not driving. The effort. 
I'll take a trip. I'll walk. I swear to God. <laughs> I, um, oh, um, yeah. Sorry. So yeah, in the, because of the the way the last the, the adventure event sort of played out, mm. and it was a bit more sprawling. It's a bit harder for people to um, worry at the end of this. This is my little bit to clean up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's perhaps why they weren't quite as tidy. Because to be fair, that the last two events did a good job tidying up. Yeah. And I, I think um, they were it's quite sleep deprived as well. Yeah. So was I. Bless you all. Um, Just because we lock some people in a room and then deprive them of sleep for several hours. Days. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep the night before. No, not really. Um, uh, right, was there any other questions or should I talk about um, something special? So, special. It's, um, this is your undying love for Chris. Well, everyone knows about that, so everyone, you know, having You're it saying your anything. love for Chris isn't special? Chris, leave him. <laughs> You've been trying to split this up forever, Sean. I know. It gets, it gets between us all the time. Literally. Literally. wearing the right t We were, we were going to sit next to each other. Sean was like, no, fuck no. that. Um, uh, naughty. Uh, uh, right. Um, one thing I want to mention is uh, tracking. Yeah. Tracking um, was, uh, um, was, an, was an awesome idea that was badly implemented by me. Um, and a lot of people wanted to do things with tracking and we didn't have the rule systems made for it. And it was something that after two events, I wanted to give it some time, hasn't worked. Um, so we talked about tweaks earlier on. Uh, we are, this is probably the biggest single tweak, which I'd almost refer to as a change. We're gonna alter tracking very much. The skills will remain the same. The process of the school remain the same, but the results are going to be very different. Rather than looking for little things that don't really tell you much information, we're going to be um, using a sort of uh, uh, slightly more ref-intensive system, which means that with the tracking skill, you find a ref and one will be nearby when, when appropriate. Um, and depending on your level of tracking, depending on what skills you've got in tracking, you will be able to find out a detailed set of information. Now, the information might be what sort of monsters are in the area, whether people pass by, or what sort of state those people were in when they pass by, or other things that will affect the wider picture. Um, and that's something that we've really threshed out. Um, we, you know, we don't just come here and be to get drunk, we do have ref meetings. And that's something we threshed out. Really Chris. serious, important meetings, mm -hmm. absolute professionals. My beard is longer than Chris's, we discovered that. Uh, so, this is something that we thrashed out. This is one of the big changes. And there's something that I'm that actually is going to refer to quite extensively. It's something we sort of played with a little bit at the last event uh, with law sheets that the refs had access to. And it just means that those people tracking have suddenly got a lot more of a sort of a, a, a much, much more power school than it was. Yeah, I mean, let's not say, sort of, let's not say that, oh my God, everyone must get tracking now because we're not saying it's the best thing since you know, cream, cream cakes. We are saying, it's a lot, lot better than it was. Well, why don't we not go into too much detail? Because, you know, we did say that we weren't going to do rule changes or uh, no, I didn't changes. Want to that. No, because they're not canon. Mm. But uh, if you have the tracking skill uh, in probably your next player pack, you'll get, uh, you'll get, or we might, should we send out an email just to let the people who have that know? But something will be changes. coming out. Yeah. 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 So there will be something a little bit more official um, uh, and a little bit more canon. Like, essentially, is a, the high level is, what we're doing is we're turning it into something you can use more often yeah. and get more out of. Yeah, because at the um, moment it's yeah. very underused. Yeah. And we want it to be a, a useful skill that yeah. you took. So we, that, yeah. that's why we're changing it. We, we, we love you, trackers. We love you, trackers, and we realise it's not popular. So, uh, yeah. Um, I just love the tracks. So we are actually a good way through yeah. everything we're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, this is leaving more time for drinking, so I'm. I'm currently okay with that. Yeah. Uh, if we get enough people asking, we'll we'll do a we'll do a, a small drunken oh we won't. Chris <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> will do a small drunken dance. All right. For you. Um, um I might record us drunken later, since it's all gonna still be set up. Drink, drink, drink. Uh, um yeah. Uh, um we have um uh so there is there's one thing we want to talk about is um crew awards. Mm. Mm. Um, and, and I think some player awards as well. I think so, yeah. Player and crew awards. We so, love our, we love our group. So, uh, <laughs> what we what we want to have for the next event, uh, we, we haven't defined what the awards will be for. Mm. Um, generally being good or awesome or interesting or really funny. 
or perhaps even unlucky. A um, combination of all of your buttons. Yeah, uh, and what we, want, very happy. what we want, and this is this is not a new idea and it happens in other systems, mm -hmm. is we'll have some categories for the uh, players to uh, award the crew for, for stuff they've done, and then the crew to award the players um, for stuff they've done. Just so at, at the end we can recognise bits and pieces that have happened and I'm hand out small, meaningless be, Yeah, these, these, <laughs> these are not in character. Rewards. These are out of character. Uh, these are pleasurable baubles. Yes. Um, I'm gonna. Gone. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one out there straight away because at both events we've had this happen. I, well, I, we should have an award called "Don't Whiz on the Electric Fence" because every time we've had an electric fence, somebody has gone down because of it. Somebody has gone too close to it or touched it, and are we having an electric fence? Don't know. Don't know. No. I think we should because then we can have this award. <laughs> I don't think we should put it around the camp anymore, though, because that'd be a bigger camp. Where we don't. We don't have that much electric fence. Mm. You do someone else. We do actually, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can throw it at players. Hmm. Portable electric fence to throw at players. Uh, um, being electrocuted by throwing electric fence. I just thought you had a little bit. Come on, your pills, just. That's <laughs> my dried frog pills. <laughs> um, Pratchett reference. Yay. Uh, but yes, yeah, so, so we'll, uh, I think through the various um, Facebook pages, we'll start some conversations on what people would think would be good awards. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what would be bad awards and how we can do them. Mm. Um, push them out. Um, what I'd like to do is, um, uh, well, start, I'm going to ask any other, any other questions. Sorry. Prioritise them to our site. We've got bigger car parks that people will be able to park uh, on site. Which is absolutely wonderful and brilliant, uh, which is awesome. Mm. Uh, people would take cars onto the site and drop stuff off at their camp and then drive off site again, which was an issue we had at the last time, which we were allowed to do as long as it didn't rain. Um, so, yeah, we've got that option as well, plus we've got trolleys we can take things with, mm. plus the large um, uh, fire pits, which we can provide. Uh, benches, we'll be able to provide. Um, a small number of benches. Um, they can't be used as defence. They cannot be used as defence. <laughs> you know. And that um, we need to stress that we need them. Um, that you are responsible them. for them. Yeah, yeah. If you're borrowing, if you're using them, you are responsible for them and, that, and with everything that entails. So, you know. Uh, but like I say, they are there for players. Uh, some available for players to use. Uh, but we would not be allowing one player, that, one group to hoard, you know, 20 of them. But uh, we won't be allowed to have one, yeah. uh, one group to hoard all of them, and we'd be kind of a one by one kind of basis. Um, Look, I reckon that's the sort of thing that actually you could negotiate with the crow to provide you a bench. Yeah. Barter items for benches. In character, in character bartering for benches. Yeah. Because you wouldn't have carried your bench with you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Here you go. Now, that, now, if that's not a reason to come to the game, that you get to barter for a bench. Plot rights itself. Yeah, I mean, oh, uh, like, they, can, they can make a new banner. Right, we bath the benches. That's like that's like half of your game done there. Yeah, plot sorted. Brilliant. That's that's what Friday Saturday now. You won't get you won't get that level of plot on most games. No, well, <laughs> where else? <laughs> honestly, you get to be honest, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what question. Is the effect of metal fatigue starting to affect more now? Will guns be more fallible? Will guns be more fallible from metal fatigue? Uh, as metal fatigue, metal fatigue uh, is, is airborne. It's uh, spread across the entire planet, as far as people are aware. Um, there will be, there are, re there are ongoing repercussions of metal fatigue becoming more and more uh, deeply infected, affecting things. Um, are we interested in stripping guns and ammo off people? Um, no, not the hard fought by weapons and things. We're not. We're not. Yeah, but, we're not looking to suddenly steal all your resource off yeah. you in game. But if you've wow. got twenty guns really to yourself awesome. and you don't have the ability to keep a gun, then yeah. you might lose a few right. because part of the. I mean, in order to use ah, this one, in order to use a gun, you need to have the right skill. Now, after somebody who's, who's only just recently fired a gun myself, um, it's. Those people with fire weapons probably realise that to maintain them, to keep them, and to reload them over the course of years in bad in a bad environment is not necessarily an easy thing to do, especially when you've got not got access to any kind of fine tools. 
So, um, yes, you require skills to be able to uh, keep them, fire them, and maintain them. Um, it's not just a case of, you know, point it at someone and pull the trigger, because um, it's not necessarily always going to hit unless you are okay aiming, they're a moving target, and in the case of the infected, it doesn't really matter if you shoot them here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. Um, or in some cases, no. Um, so I think it's, so, it's also worth No, we're not going to take them off, people. But if like you if start you stockpiling things and don't use them, they might suffer repercussions. Also, it, if you've got a gun that is being maintained, and that's fine, and uh, it will kind of last, but you're not going to come across a stockpile of them. Like, unless they've been hermetically sealed somehow, or, or whatever, they're, like, you know, scavenging for guns isn't really going to get you anywhere, because they'll be... Fuck. So, um, I think the conclusion we've reached here is a firm circumstantial maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think We're not going to take shit off you. <clears throat> we'll be right. If it's fair. I mean, I think it's probably fair to say that on a long enough timeline, vir no. virtually all the guns will fail. Yeah. And well, yeah, uh, on a long enough timeline, given, uh, given metal fatigue, all yeah. the guns will fail, definitely. But we're talking a long timeline, we might have to do. And, you know, an evil ref might at some point introduce a possibility of guns exploding when you use them due to metal fatigue. However, good point, we do have a rule system for um, certain characters with certain skill sets, and they must have the character skill sets developing sure weapons, uh, developing sure. guns, new weapons, <laughs> gunpowder, <laughs> ammunition, and so on. That is within this whole set of skill sets. And we do have, uh, we've had for a long time, for instance, about more people working on alternative weapons. So we have, a, we have one last question. Which we encourage. Which I think we should absolutely finish on this, this question. Yeah? Okay. Which is, which is, why does it look like Sean is moderating us too? He is. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's the grown up. He's drank less. He's drank less. I don't we, think he has. Should we? Should we do? Um, I, I think we so should finish on that one. But I think we should need to do five more minutes and just see. Look, any other question? We're going to be wrapping up in about five minutes. If you've got any questions, please, please, please get them into us now. And um, I think we've got our uh, guest coming in to do a quick song now. No. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. Fire the new tech boy. He's uh, awful. Right, oh, so, um, uh, can we get a? Can we get a count on viewer numbers? Did we oh, get yeah, a 25? Yeah, Did we get a 25 viewer numbers? No, we got to 15. <sighs> oh, You're breaking my heart. Oh so well. Anyway. I've got an idea. It might not work. It might be a crap idea. How uh, about we give out a special code and the 20th person to email him with a code gets a free t-shirt. Yeah, we'll do it at an undisclosed time on Facebook, so... Keep an eye on the wall. Or yeah, should yeah. yeah. So should we give a special code that they've got to have watched? Yeah. And if they're the like, first... Uh, no, 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 no. I think that we'll, we'll, at some point in the next couple of weeks, we'll we'll do a, a um, a something on Facebook. Okay. Um, to, to give, because we didn't get, we didn't yeah. get the viewers here. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll push, push that. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll also do the t-shirt away. Yeah. History. We have, we, we do have another question. We have another question. Oh, sorry. Um, what's the difference between an overrun and dangerous area? Um, a dangerous area is dangerous uh, to travel through. <laughs> well, an overrun area <laughs> is totally overrun by the enemies. Um, basically, if number area, of zombies. If, yeah. Would, would, would be I'll, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go through the basics. If an area is safe, <laughs> safe areas, it means it's safe. It means people can live there completely safely. If it's risky, it means. It's a bit risky. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, I don't know, I'm sorry to, to clarify because I've been drinking. We're, we're, uh, th this is me. Um, this is me going through each level in order. Mm. So the most, but the, the safest area is the safest. The next safest is risky. Uh, beyond that, we get dangerous, and then we're into overrun, overwhelming, so, uh, like and so on. Essentially, so they, it, it levels up. Is, is dangerous is. Um, it's generally a safe place to be than somewhere that's overrun. Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, you know, you could you could try and do something in a dangerous zone, like going to visit a dangerous zone yeah. and maybe go looting. That yeah. that's something that's possible. Okay. Overrun is pretty much a death sentence uh, no. unless you're going out to clear. Sure. No, uh, uh, somewhere that's overrun is, isn't a death sentence, but you can't imagine you're going to get your 
you know, you're not going to come out unscathed. unscathed. You're not going to come out unscathed unless you've got some uh, skill set that allows you to do, to do so. I beyond that, opinion, that, beyond that, you've oh, got. Yeah, beyond that, that you've got. Uh, sorry, off the top of my head, I wasn't expecting to. Uh, beyond that, you've got something like overwhelming, which is the next step up. And then beyond that, you've got something like deadly, and then it's impossible. Uh, beyond that, and those are your during the general kind of uh, uh, sets. Something that is overwhelming, deadly, or impossible. You know, you you you, you can't you can't send world groups into. You guys can't go into uh, unless you're going it in force to really reduce the numbers and then you're going to expect casualties and um, you're going to have to have very very highly equipped uh, forces yeah. and there's some kind of uh, growing information on how you can do that within the game. We've got, we have got some more questions. Yep. Yeah, no, I'm going to do more questions. I don't want to cut people off. As long as it's not a fan. Um, how about a raffle of anyone who asked a question? Yeah, I'll start with you. Um, Oh, we could do that, can we? Mm. Do we have a list of who asked questions? It's in the messages. Yeah. Cool. yeah do they keep the messages when we log off? After that? Uh, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna do it. I think we'll uh, we'll do it before now. Do, do you think? Right, Lauren. Do you think uh, anyone, anyone asked a good question? Just quickly, put some names on these papers before we forward out. Uh, bear with me. Um, uh, any other questions? Usernames will be fine. The the last question so far is from Padre, and downtime mechanic in general explain would be nice. Downtime mechanic uh, yeah. explanation would be good. Yeah. Uh, concerning what um, would be my question. Uh, downtime, uh, players get uh, players and work groups get two actions each unless they use a point of fuel, which represents them getting uh, a working vehicle and driving somewhere quickly uh, and doing something extra. Um, it gives them an extra action. You can only ever get one extra action in a downtime that way. Um, downtime actions, work groups are good for mass attacking because they've got better strength than an individual player. Um, or... Um, um, sort of, uh, hauling goods because they can haul more things than an individual player. Individual players are better at, at um, there's actually, exploring. Um, there's actually a really nice segment on this on the website. Uh, if point. you come back with specific questions about certain bits or pieces that you're not too hot on or you don't fully understand, drop us an email. Um, we're happy to look into that for you. Like uh, essentially, you, you write a narrative of what you want to do. Uh, with with yeah. some, so you're, with you're better off finding it too. Action one, action two, and you put some ifs and buts in. Like I want to do this for action one, and if I don't find fuel, then I'll do this for action two. If I do find fuel, I'll do this for action two. That kind of thing is absolutely fine. With anything else, um, there is like said, like John says, a lovely section in the downtime section. This the rule book, the official Alter Reality rule book, is available on the website for, for um, download. We'll also have some of these available at the next game. And we may, well, throw some of these out to some people uh, for various reasons as well. Um, um, but there's a, se a huge section on this about it and on the website as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, give me more information about what you want. So we're just, uh, we're waiting on the names now for the raffle. We will do our Shall we put, big, um, big live draw. Should we put one of the videos on? It's been an hour since we played that as well. The first video. We don't have any videos. Can't we keep the name one of the ones we've already played? You want to fold them off with them? You know, you know, you, you, know, right, you know what? You know what is this? BBC Three. You know what we could do? Yeah, is we could try and play. One of the things that someone mentioned in the chat was DM Zombie Child there. Oh, oh that's the Zombie that's... Child. Oh yeah, that whole thing goes. Uh, just, just want to check very quickly. Anyone got any triggers that might possibly set them off? Yeah, um, there's been a definite lack of children being born in our world. Um, not sorry, not like sorry. Um, yeah, they've not been going so well. Sorry if that's a trigger to anyone. Um, there have been some births, but a lot of people have been dying. Uh, plot, just believe people. But yes, it was brilliant and amazing set piece that I missed. But yes, amazing and brilliant, and yeah, we did it. Um, um, so for for those that didn't catch all of that. Um, yeah, it was uh, some awesome prop work, and it timed her with an attack, which made life a lot better, a lot more fun. Um, so yeah, so, sorry, I'm slightly distracted because I'm trying to find something. Well, John, the tap dance. Um, there's also top props to Sean for roughing that and to all the actors involved. Yes, no, brilliant. I've got to say, these guys are amazing. Absolutely brilliant. 21 hours straight, John. 21 hours straight. Yeah. The, 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 
they they went <laughs> above and beyond uh, on such a regular level. And, they were absolutely brilliant. Whoever the player was in there on her first ever lark. <laughs> oh, bless yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. Really oh, sorry. oh, sorry for traumatised you at all. Well, only a little bit. I actually had a chat with her after the event, and uh, she seemed to actually thoroughly enjoy it, which is always nice to hear. Yeah. Um, awesome. Okay, so what, what I'm going to play now, whilst we sort out the, the, the mechanics of this, is we uh, we did a promo at the end of uh, Event 2 video, which we then tried to play and it, it failed horribly. Um, we did do a test run of this earlier, it, it didn't play great, so yeah. who knows. We're going to give it a go, uh, we'll, we'll cut to this and then we'll come back and finish off with the thing. I'm pretty much ready now. Yeah, we'll do this and then we'll, yeah. Uh, Although actually, it'll, it'll, it's not going to play straight to start with because I'm doing this on the fly, so bear with me. War is coming swiftly, the board is closing in, we're a company of soldiers, metaphor. A beautiful assistant, our new tech boy Tom. Hi. Uh, and uh, for those of you, including John, who doubted the purpose of my hat, this is my plan all along, and you can't prove otherwise. I now have a selection of names in this hat for our, our impromptu raffle for a, a T-shirt. So, Tom, my beautiful assistant, if you care to do the honors. Okay. Um, Look, don't get it wrong. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Let's, let's do this right. Let's do this right. Uh, 
You want to read that? My God. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it's LaFan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry, I think you mean. <laughs> like, you know, I, I, do think, I do think on that note, yeah, well done. <laughs> uh, 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 any other questions? Any other questions? Please email them in to us or ask them on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Uh, please come along to the next event. It is going to be awesome at our awesome new site. We need to see you there because we love you and we miss you if you're not. Uh, bring, bring new people so you get discounts. Yeah, uh, ticket sales end on the 6th of August, so please, please do not wait till the last minute because otherwise you may very well miss out. Um, also, the earlier you get the money, the more we can spend on props. And the better plot you get. Um, but yeah. other than that, I think uh, we're pretty much done. Um, um, yeah. not, can we just check with yeah. the lovely Laura? Any anything else? Anything else? Yeah, Are we done? Else? No. No. Right. right. Okay. Well, thank we you will see so much you. for watching. You yeah, know, I was that hand up on camera. Yeah. See you later. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Friends now.